What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to tween a model. You can see this part right here is a model. If I go into the workspace, you'll see this is a model and it is actually tweening and there are no unions inside. So let's get into it. Firstly, you want to get your model. In this case, I'm going to be using a box for the example of this video. Then add a script inside. Now, close the script and what you want to do is you want to find the part. It can really be any part but try to find like the base. So in this case, this could be the base for my part. I'm gonna name this base. Next up, on the box, I'm gonna search up primary part in the properties, and then I'm gonna set this to the base. Now I'm gonna make sure every part in the box is unanchored. To do this, you're gonna press up here, you're gonna select the box, you're gonna press anchored, then once it's selected, you're gonna press it again. This will unanchor every single part inside. Now you want to anchor only the base, so you just select the base and anchor it. Now what you want to do is, you want to shift select all of the parts that are inside your model. Go to model, then go over here to create, press on the little arrow, and press weld. Now, what this will do is, every part will move based on the base part's position. So if we move the base, all these parts will also move with the base. That's how we're going to be doing that. We're going to be tweening the base. So first, let's make a variable for the base. Local base equals script dot parent dot primary part. Now let's get tween service. Local ts equals game dot tween service. Local info equals tween info dot new to comma easing enum dot easing style dot quad comma enum dot easing direction dot in out comma oh, math dot huge we're doing math dot huge here because we wanted to repeat infinitely and math dot huge is practically infinite so then we want to see if it reverses here and it, we do want it to reverse and then we want it we want to see if there's a delay between each one so no i do not want a delay so now we're going to make a tween. So local tween equals ts create. In this case, in this case we're going to be using the base. We're going to be tweening the base. So base. And then we already have the info. The tween info. So we're going to do info. Then the properties. We're going to be tweening the C-frame in this, in this case. So let's make another variable for the C-frame. So local new C-frame equals base dot c frame plus c frame dot new and then in this case we want to make it go up so vector 3 dot new 0 comma 5 comma 0 so we're going to be tweening it to the c frame equals new c frame if you want you can copy this code right now now to actually run the tween we have to play the tween so you just do tween colon play. Now, if we run the game, you'll see the box levitate. Oh, it looks like we got an error. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it looks like we can't encase this in the C frame. So just delete the C frame dot new in the last bracket. Now, if we run the game, it should work. Now you can see how this box levitates up and down even though it's a model. Now we can also change this to make it go on the x-axis 10 and come back. You can play around with this as much as you want. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.